The invasion is tomorrow, and you won't let us land with a- What? Engineers, you are now invaluable OSS assets. Your orders for the invasion are to brief and advise, not participate. Is that why we have this overgrown babysitter? The MP is a request from General Donovan himself. He knows about your special relationship with orders you don't agree with. Permission to speak freely, sir? No. This is bull crap. I think he was gonna say this is complete bullshit. Horse shit, actually, but close enough, Holly. General, yeah. That beach tomorrow will be a meat grinder, and you know it. Ended without us. They're going to get killed. That's enough, Sergeant. Actually, no, it's not enough. Sarge, wait. The sergeant is the bravest soldier I've ever known. And you just you know kicked him out? He carries German shrapnel from the Western Front in his back. You know I still carry a cut across my throat because of Tunisia. I hear him complain. He does his best to hide it. But there's one thing, one simple truth he can't hide from. Sir? Ali, there's one certain, absolute, unbreakable truth in this universe. And the sergeant knows it better than anyone. You ever wonder why someone with his experience doesn't carry a much higher rank? 1936, the Spanish Civil War. The Nazis get involved in a big way, using it as a test run for their new planes and tanks. Yep. The United States stays neutral, of course, but the sergeant's son, his only son, is one of these idealistic young men that runs off and volunteers to fight. With little or no training, these boys are going up against a fascist juggernaut. Like us, now. When he hears the news about his son volunteering, the sergeant asks permission to go after him. It's denied, so Sarge goes AWOL, hops on a tramp steamer to Spain, lands on the coast, and races to the front line. When he finally gets there, he learns his son was killed the day before in a Stuka attack. I had no idea. I'm the one who got him out of the stockade after his court-martial. As you might imagine, the sergeant was a very tough father. Never told his son that he loved him. And now, he lives every day with the fact that he never will. So as I said, the sergeant knows the truth better than anyone. It's a truth that transcends ideology and borders. And that truth is... War, war kills young people. Young people. Why don't you two go see Huxley? Dismissed. E e yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Come on, Ollie. Let's go. You're being sent to advise the 82nd Airborne on what you saw in France. But then, your orders are to come back here. I wish I could help you. I wish I could tell you that Colonel Ebbets is friends with the airbase commander. And that the deployment orders are waiting for you inside the tower. And I wish I could tell you I'll be waiting for you aboard ship in the channel with your own goodie bags. Huxley, you son of a bitch. This is a model of Dog Red Sector, where your unit is landing tomorrow morning as a part of the first wave. Your objective is to clear the beach of all these obstacles, clearing a path for Allied tanks to roll ashore. I've read the casualty forecasts. I'm sure you know. No, I it's don't. It's going to be terrible. Right. Huxley, what is that? Lieutenant, here's a quick refresher on the work of a combat engineer. 
Follow the instructions on the board. First, place an explosive block on this heavy beach obstacle. Next, attach the fuse container. Stick the fuse into the explosive. Then... So and finally the model shop built a full scale half track for you go blow it up good luck I getting don't... away from your minder i'll see you in the channel I always thought the number of takeoffs was supposed to match the number of landings, but I guess you boys in the 82nd are the exception to that rule. I know this is the first time some of you will see combat. I know you're scared. Well, let me be clear with all of you, I'm scared too. Me as Never well. Never forget, the Nazis are smart. They didn't take over half the civilized world by accident. They are the best trained and best equipped fighting force the world has ever seen, and they are the most evil. That's why we're here. We're here to free those they've enslaved. And to avenge those they've killed. Yeah. I look forward to seeing you all in France. Native American boy among them. That was very moving, Sergeant. We need to get you back to headquarters. I have orders to return you to Whitehall before 1900 hours. Roger that, Private, of course. But before we go, the Colonel asked me to pick up a bottle of sherry from the Air Base Commander. Mm -mm. No, Sergeant. No can do. What's the problem? It's right over there in the tower. I have extremely specific orders. I am to escort you to the flight line, return you to the Jeep, and back to London. Because of your special history, we are not to deviate from that plan. It's just a bottle of sherry. You want to be the one to disappoint the Colonel when we come back without it? I know I don't. What about the Lieutenant? Come on, war hero. Okay. Lieutenant, we'll meet you back at the Jeep. Got it. Can I drive back to London? We've been over this before, Sergeant. Absolutely not. Just part way. No! The Colonel sure loves his sherry. Yes, he does. All right. Why are you with? Oh, I said. Oops. Sergeant. Sergeant, please. Sergeant, please. Please, Sergeant. Sergeant, please exit the vehicle. 
But I really want to drive. I am not going to ask you again, sir. Just in time. Sergeant! Sergeant! <clears throat> Private, would you like to see a magic trick? What? Look what's behind my ear. Grenade! Grenade! So, where to, Ollie? Weymouth, in Dorset. Weymouth. Oh, it's gonna be close. So, how much trouble do you think we're in? A lot. Quite a bit, Ollie, quite a bit. We're headed one of two places. France, or the stockade. Lieutenant, you need to find the present the Quartermaster left for us. Find those supplies, or we'll be attacking Nazi Germany with just our wits. Got it. Hello there, Lieutenant. I didn't know you were back. Okay. Thank you. Good luck, Lieutenant. Life is usually a pageant of idiots and fools. Can't believe it. No one knew what happened to you after Tunisia. Oh, we joined the OS. We got a new assignment. But now we're back. Yep. Men, the clock is running. We're shoving off. Y'all are way down as hell out here, sure. For sure, aren't you? I know it's going to be a tough job ahead. Yeah. But it's good for us to be together. That's all we can ask for. Yes, sir. I can agree. I can definitely agree. gonna be just like Sicily, all right? We're gonna hit the beach and we're gonna take that. Okay? Keep your head down. Don't stop moving. Go, go, go. Grab the raft. Get up there. Oh, 
Yes, sir. This game works! I know! We gotta get everyone off this goddamn thing! Look, we need those barricades! We need that armor all dead! Yes, sir. I don't know. I'm coming. I'm coming. Dude, what the heck? Why am I getting so out of it now?
Come on. We've gotta go. Uh, got him.
Feind an unseren Granaten gekommen. Alrighty. Das hören wir schon mit deutschen Granaten bewaffnet. What the fuck is that Gewehr doing? <laughs> Up and at him. Dog Red is now open. I repeat, Dog Red is open. Send in every tank we've got. Yes, this is him. Copy that, standing by. Yes, Colonel. Yes, we're all still alive. Thank you, sir. I'll let them know. That was the Colonel. What it's worth, he says we're all still in the army. That was 10,000 times worse than I ever expected. That was worse than Sicily, I'll be honest. <laughs> but you did great, son. You saved a lot of men. What's next? Well, catch our breath. Take then we a get break. Moving. Cry out tears. Long road to Berlin. Certainly is. I'm ready. So am I. The delicate mind.